Hey, what's up, family? The sun is shining. It's hot outside. That means it's summertime, baby. We got an amazing summertime recipe for you. We've got some delicious ribeye kebabs. Make sure you stay tuned and check this one out. It's gonna be a banger. All right, we've got everything we need right here for our delicious kebabs, but most importantly, you need a kebab. You need a skewer, you need a stick. I like these 12 to 14 inch skewers. And what I do before I skewer everything, I soak them in water. Why? Because we don't want them to burn, baby. That food ain't gonna burn, so our delicious wooden skewers aren't gonna burn. I said delicious wooden skewers, that's stupid. We're not gonna eat these. All right, uh, let's get, uh, we've got some bell peppers, we've got some mushrooms, I've got uh, some zucchini, squash, tomatoes, onions, and the delicious ribeye. You guys can use any vegetables that you like. Hell, you can just put the meat on there if you wanted to, okay? Let's get started, Joshua. See here, this is kind of the size we want to kind of keep to. I went ahead and cut up the, this uh, purple onion. We're going to keep these whole. Okay, on the skewer, okay? So we're gonna leave things about this size, okay? So if we take our um, mushroom here, it's about, it's about that size, right? Take this mushroom here, it's about that size. Cut up a little bit of our zucchini, because it's a little bit more dense. We can keep it a little bit smaller, okay? Again, all about the same size, everybody. All about the same size. We want everything to consistently cook, okay? Zucchini. Um, let's do some bell pepper, why not? Now to cut up the meat, okay? Now this ribeye, we're gonna cut it up. There's gonna be a specific way that we cut it up, okay? Take that piece of meat off. We're gonna separate our spinalis. Okay, you guys know that spinalis' grain is running all in the same direction. Okay, so we're gonna cut it up just like so. And again, you can see our pieces of meat are about the same size as our pieces of vegetables. Now, we're gonna look really close into this ribeye. We can see that our grain is running in this direction. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut with the grain. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our cubes against the grain, okay? And these things are gonna eat a lot better if you were to cut them diagonally against the grain, okay? So we've got all of our delicious ingredients for our skewers. Next things we gotta do is just shove these on a piece of wood, am I right? I always start and end with my meat, okay? So we'll start with our meat. The next thing I want, I want that mushroom kissing that piece of ribeye right there. I want them making out and making little flavor babies together, okay? Now, I'm not gonna skewer this like some crazy maniac like this, okay? Why? Because this inside gets really, really soft, okay? And these are more than likely just gonna fall off, okay? So what we're gonna do is instead of skewering them like this, I'm just gonna turn them bad boys just like that, okay? And, that's, and that skin, the outside, is gonna help hold them onto our skewer. Okay, and we're gonna get some good surface area so we can get some good char uh, on that veggie too, okay? Now, you never go three veggies back to back. That's just crazy and asinine. So, you're gonna add a piece of meat, baby, that's right. We're gonna add another veggie because the wife said I had to have vegetables on these. And then again, we're skewering this whole quarter of the onion. Okay, because if we were just to put one little sliver on there, it's gonna get done way before our vegetables and our delicious meat, okay? So again, I always start and end my skewer with meat. Look at that beautiful skewer. Let's get them seasoned up. I'm gonna throw a little bit of oil on there, a little spray oil, high temperature spray oil, just to give it a little bit of a binder. I'm gonna touch it first with Chef Greg's four letter rub. Got some salt, pepper, MSG in it. Make those flavors really pop. And then we've got salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, paprika, that Ben's heifer dust. Any kind of beef, man, the Ben's heifer dust is going on it. All right, now we'll flip it over. Don't just season one side, you crazy maniacs. Season both sides. All right, we made quick work of those skewers. I made sure I put my wood all the way through those pieces of meat. 
Uh, we've got them perfectly seasoned. Now they're going to go on the RTB380X, that Bullseye Deluxe, baby. That's your summertime grill. I use this thing Monday through Friday, right? So come on over here, check it out. Wow, we've got that grill grate searing kit on there set at 500 degrees. We're gonna place these bad boys on there evenly. Also give them a little bit of, a little push as well to kind of make sure that meat gets in contact with those raised grates, baby. Be very careful. RTB 380X Bullseye Deluxe gets up to a thousand degrees. You don't need to cook these things at a thousand degrees, everybody. 500 degrees is a good enough temperature. I don't want to overcrowd this bad boy, so we're going to let these things cook. Look at those bad mamma jammas. Holy smokes, look at the juice. Oh, just dripping off of them. Look at that right there. Definitely warm, so be careful. Make sure you're wearing some hot gloves. Careful, because you don't want to knock everything off, man. You got people to feed, you got a presentation, okay? All right, we've got all of our skewers off of our Bullseye Deluxe. These things look absolutely amazing. Remember, don't overcrowd that Bullseye, okay? And uh, make sure you season both sides of these things, okay? Now, we're gonna plate them up. Absolutely amazing for our friends that are coming over later for our little summer party. All right, there's only one thing left to do before we serve it up to our friends. You gotta taste them. Why? Because, hey, you may need some more seasoning. You may, you may need to make an adjustment, okay? You don't wanna serve food that's gonna taste bad to your friends and relatives, okay? Ooh, we pull this little steak off right there. Ooh, perfectly medium. That's the temperature I like. If, you, if you're a medium well or a well person, that's okay. All right, we're not gonna hold that against you. And shout out to all of those uh, rare and medium rare people out there that like it a little underdone. Wow, that ribeye is so juicy. It's still got a hint of smoke on it. Some delicious caramelization from the grill. Mm. Let me hit up one of these mushrooms, baby. Mm. Take that sh to the bank. Wow. Y'all, it couldn't have been easier. You guys saw me prep it. You saw me cook it. Now it's your turn to go out there and do it for your summer party. I'm Jody Flanagan, the Barbecue Dad. From everybody here at the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we'll see you at the RecTech. Man, it's good, baby. <laughs>